Hello everyone. Um, haven't got too much to say. Not been a very good day. And uh, didn't rain yesterday. It rained four days in a row. Yesterday it didn't didn't sprinkle or rain here. Uh, but today it's it's sprinkling a little bit now. I'm hoping that looking that way it's moving this direction maybe it'll bring a little bit of rain um, as you can see the the grass is green again I just wish it'd keep doing this every other day or so you know so it's not so so bad still under a statewide burn ban I decided to go ahead and vlog here uh, while I'm sitting out here with the dog. Not shaving. I didn't comb my hair today. Don't really give a fuck either. <sighs> don't know what's been done on the apartment and don't really care. Um, told you yesterday the wrong stove came. I don't think a decision has been made to send it back or what. Um, I don't want it installed in my apartment because I don't want to use it because it will depreciate the value if it hasn't already been depreciated by unlo unloading it from the truck. It's brand new, not been touched, it's very clean. I do not want it in my apartment because I do not want anyone to use it. Uh, no matter who they are, I do not want it to be used. And I'm not doing that for myself, I'm doing that for who paid for it. Um, they have a chance to have it sent back, or they can take it back. Maybe they'll get their money for it, um, or they can sell it. Um, I'm not trying to be a prick, or a hard ass, or somebody who does not appreciate the value of money, especially not my own, because I do. Um, the apartment is not like how I wanted it hasn't been like I wanted it sorry wanted is not the real good word the apartment has not been done to my needs and to my future needs um, but I've dealt with it and I dealt with it and dealt with it and I'm still dealing with it that apartment down there will not be my home And they don't understand that um, we're not just building an apartment. We're not building an apartment for anyone else. It's it's being built for me. And I think about my future. Five years from now, ten years from now. Am I still going to be there? If I can launch a career which was taken from me in 2010, if I can relaunch my career, I don't plan on living there for a long time, you know, for very long. I can sit and bitch and moan and complain about each individual thing that's wrong. But there's nothing that I can do about it. So I'm just going to choose not to talk about it anymore. No one understands and no one tells, no one listens to what I have to say when I tell them. When they took, I don't remember how many weeks in it was building the apartment. But when I stopped going down there and my decision making was taken away from me. You know how if you, it doesn't matter, say you're 
fucking buying a car, you know. And it's your money. It's like when you know that you're going to be paying for it. It's like the lot says, okay, well, we're going to take this out because we don't want you to have it. Or we're not going to install this in your car because we don't want you to have it. When my decision making was taken away from me at that apartment down there, I washed my hands of the situation. And I shut my phone off. And I didn't talk to nobody about it. Because there was no need. Anyone's ever built a house or remodeled anything, built anything that was going to be something that you had to use, per se, for the rest of your life, would you want to make the decision on where the wall would go, how big your bedroom need to be, or what door needs to go where, or what color you'd like it. When those decisions were taken away from me, I should have just stopped, period. If my grandparents would have chose to continue building the apartment, then that would have been fine. They did, they did decide to continue to build the apartment, but I was still being dragged in to the decision, to a decision to make some decisions. And every time I made a decision, it was balked or shot down, changed. My opinion was not valued. So it's going to be hard to call that place down there my home. Yes, it'll be a place where I lay my head or wash my ass or feed my stomach. But I don't know if it's going to be my home. All the issues that I've had to go on through that you don't know about and you don't have to need or need to know about. It would only burden you even though you don't know me personally, you know, personally. I wouldn't want to burden you with the uh, with any of that. Only because if I told you and you don't know me 100%, you know, you have been watching my videos probably, thank you. Um, I wouldn't want you to have to worry about it or wouldn't want you to have to think, well, I wish they would have done that for him or I wish they would have let him do that or I wonder why they, why did they do that? I don't want to burden you with that, so. It's hard to get on here every day and vlog what's been going on. It's hard to put on a, a smile because I've done it for so long. It really is hard to But I'm going to tell you not to worry. It doesn't matter. I'll be okay. When all reality is, I'm not going to be okay. And, um, I have learned that it's okay not to be okay. And I've dealt with it for so long, you know, for all these years. And for the rest of my years, however short or long they may be,
had to put on a fake smile. It's better for those around you to think you're okay than for them to, at least in my case, it's better for them to see me and think that I'm okay because I'm happy or smiling or that's, it's better for them and for you. So, the day hasn't been too hot, which I, which I really loved, and uh, we got a little bit of a breeze, which is nice, and like I said, it's been cl cloudy and dropping some sprinkles and some rain, Hope hopefully it comes on, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace.